Okay, I have been waiting for this for like a month. Um, this is the heavy duty, wait, wait, heavy duty pump, heavy duty version of this little sucker. Um, I'm still working on more videos for this one, but this is supposedly the big brother. <laughs> um, I wanted to take this one apart and I've been waiting for like a month to get it. Um, and it's here and it literally just came in this morning and I'm going to tear it apart because I can't wait because I'm impatient. So first things first, again, I have not taken this apart. I've just taken the screws out. There are four screws on the front, four screws on the back. They're all right here. Um, not stainless steel, <laughs> which is fine. doesn't matter. It's like a $10 pump. This thing comes with all kinds of stuff. It has four holes, two in the back, two in the front. Comes with this mounting thing so you can like mount it through there. And then you can uh, basically mount it on something. It's actually a nice mount, I like it. It's a lot better and a lot more thought out than this with the little spans. How this is supposed to work I have no idea, but whatever. Um, packaging. It is a electric drill powered pump. Includes inlet filter, which it actually does, which is super nice. Um, vein pump, so that's going to be fun to take apart and see. We can tell it's a vein pump because it's off center. If it was a centrifugal pump, this would be center. And if it was a gear pump, you'd see something oblong like that to fit the gears in there. So fits all portable electric drills. Yeah, because it's standard size. Max outlet is 15 meter head. So we can pump up 15 meters. I question that, but whatever. Max inlet head is two meters. So it can draw water up two meters to prime it. Again, I question that and then fits your standard three quarter inch hose. Back, basically just the same thing. All right, so I actually do kind of like this on first thought. Um, it actually tells you the rotation um, here multiple times, <laughs> as well as it says rotation with an arrow and then it also says in and out, which is actually really nice. Um, I would like the barbed fittings to be a little more barbed. Um, that's the one nice thing about this. They are very barbed. Um, and this doesn't come with any uh, clamps. So that's the only thing. It'd be nice if it had some clamps because you're using like a hose. The, uh, for reference, it is a lot thicker. So probably a little more durable. Um, comes with spare parts too. So O-ring, which I'm guessing is probably right here for something. Um, we have this, which is the shaft seal, which you can probably kind of see a little bit. I'm guessing that's what it is. Again, I haven't taken this apart yet. And then you have some plastic doodads. Um, I'm guessing this is part of the vein pump, probably some replacements for the wear, wear plates or something or whatever. So, all right, let's see here. Let us just take it apart. <laughs> all right, first time, let's see what we got. Aha, that's what I thought. Oh, there's actually some lubricant in here. Oh, that's awesome. This is actually really well designed. Look at that. So we have an O-ring for sealing right there. Okay. Remember this is off center right there. So as this rotates, these get flung against the wall and it seals, seals against the wall. And then what it does is it basically creates a vacuum and pulls in the fluid. That is a really big shaft too. Look at that shaft. 
So what we have is we have it, it rotates like that. So you have your drill on there. And that's what these are. They're where they replace those. So they're, they're your wear, wear points. As these wear down, you can replace them, which is really nice. So this rotates. These get, f oh, that's a nice, oh, look at that, lovely, lovely. It's always nice when parts of the pump come off. Um, that's really cool. All right, so standard vein pump. Um, only has four veins, probably fine for this. Um, there's no way you could really have, maybe you have six, maybe you have eight, I don't know. I doubt it, um, but it's actually got some lubricant on it. Probably not the best lubricant, but look at this shaft. Look at that thing. This looks like a standard just ground shaft they bought. You can see the you can see the uh, chamfer on the end there. Just something off of uh, wherever. You know, all those ubiquitous ones you can buy on eBay. But it goes all the way through. So they probably bought this. This probably comes from a manufacturer like that. And then they just stuff it on here. So. If we pull on this, this is going to come out because they're all, this is connected. So this is the, in, this is the pumping element right here. Again, you can see this is off, off center. So it matches up with that. This goes like that. And then as this in here, so what happens when you take off the, uh, so you can see right there, and then as this spins, these are flung to the outside, and then it seals against, seals against that, and then this is where your fluid actually transfers, actually goes this way. Realistically though, you could run it either way, you could run it that way or run it that way, but you can see the inlet and then the outlet rotation, so you spin it this way, flings against the outside, wears against there, and then as it gets pushed in, it pushes the liquid out. I actually had some forethought in this too. You can see here, the inlet side doesn't have any relief. So, but the discharge side actually does. So there's actually a relief there, so that as it starts pushing as it starts pushing these back in, because it's going to start pressing against the wall and starts compressing that liquid, it actually has a place for it to go. Um, and it looks like that was actually, I don't know, this is really rough. It's not from the housing. It looks like it might have, or from the uh, mold, might have actually been machined. I don't know. But you can see the, um, this is where all that little fod's coming from. You got little bits of plastic coming off here. That's all coming off from the, uh, I guess the machining process you can really see down here. You can really see down in here, you got like big old chunks of plastic. Big old chunks of plastic coming off. But man, this is really nice. Look, there's a wear plate on here. That's actually metal, kind of, I think. Looks like it's metal. You got O-rings on either side. Oops, there we go. So you got a wear plate right here. So this here. So this right here would be up against that there. It's gonna spin. I don't know how well it's gonna seal though. I can see gaps in there. And so really the blue part isn't gonna be necessarily your issue. It's gonna be the white veins and how well those seal. Um, but these look pretty good. Someone spent some time on this and considering that like, I, this, I, I can only find one supplier for this, which is why it took, took me like a month to get because there's only one supplier that's selling these. There's, there's about 8,000 suppliers for these things. Um, but this this whole thing was like eleven or twelve dollars, and this was like five. So, um, really, that's insane. It's insane that like this is only twice as much 
and like I, I imagine this this is probably going to be way more efficient it's going to pump way more water it's slightly better designed looks like it's actually had some machining obviously quick machining but you know machining nonetheless um i do see some issues you can see oh you can actually see where the o-ring sealed that little shiny bit right there you can see where the o-ring sealed against the uh the housing here now on this side, I don't think that's gonna seal to save your life. <laughs> that is, that is rough. That is rough. But that's an actually, this is actually a cool little pump. I am actually shocked. You have, obviously the shaft is, there you go, here's a better look at the vein. And these veins are going to be really loose in here because they're going to have to come. They're going to have to basically centrifugal force is going to pull them in and out as it's rotating because they're going to have to seal against against here. And again, you get spare ones. So if you're actually using this for any amount of time, these are going to wear the black rods are going to wear against the wall and probably wear it down and smooth it out. Um, and then eventually you have to take it apart, replace these rods. You could even do something like you could probably measure the uh, diameter of these rods and buy like, you know, steel rods, like stainless steel rods off of eBay or something and replace them with that. Um, probably for pretty cheap. And then, yeah, this is uh, but this is going to hang out for a while got a good bearing surface in here I wonder what so this is the end here this is there this is the ceiling end I don't know how they expect you to get this I guess you got to pull this out you'd probably have to pull this out to replace the uh, the seal in there it's a decent little seal. I mean, it's just a little rubber thing, but they give you a spare one. This is actually insanely cool for uh, what you pay for. Like again, it was like ten bucks, and you got two O-rings. Got some bushings in here. Some bushings. I mean, I don't even know what. That's just plastic, which is really funny. I don't know why they just didn't mold that in. Um, looks like. I think that's. I think this is actually metal, but I'm not sure. And I can't get it out, but no, this is really cool. So that is this and that's all I got. So I'm going to test it, try it, see what happens. But I really had to tear it down because I just got it this morning. So thank you.